PIC-related bloodstream infection is a significant clinical concern. In a 2006 CVC, Central Venous Catheter, meta-analysis, hospitalized patients with PICs had similar rates of bloodstream infections as those with uncoated Central Venous Catheters, 2.1 per 1,000 catheter days, compared to 2.7 per 1,000 catheter days. Costs associated with one occurrence of a catheter-related bloodstream infection exceed $29,000, with an attributable mortality rate of 12 to 25 percent. The skin surface remains a source for extraluminal catheter infection, which accounts for more than 60 percent of catheter-related infection. Despite the rigorous use of broad-spectrum prepping solutions and the incorporation of maximum sterile barriers, 20% of skin flora remains on the skin after antisepsis. Surviving pathogens then gain access to the percutaneous catheter tract at the time of the initial needle and sheath insertion, then travel through the skin tract by means of capillary action. These microflora then adhere to and colonize the catheter. Once the catheter is contaminated, the pathogens begin to multiply and colonize the device. Another potential source of extraluminal catheter infection results from hematogenous seeding, in which pathogens migrate from a distant site of infection and adhere to the catheter surface. Hematogenous seeding is responsible for about 5% of catheter-related infections. The Arrow Evolution PIC with Chloroguard technology is designed to provide an initial burst of chlorhexidine immediately after insertion to protect the cutaneous insertion tract. Subsequently, Chloroguard continues to release chlorhexidine for at least 30 days for broad spectrum protection, resulting in a 99.99% colonization reduction against gram positive and gram negative bacteria and fungi. Colonization of CVCs is a precursor to catheter-related bloodstream infection. Chloroguard technology can be a tool to help your institution attain and sustain the goal of zero by offering protection beyond insertion.